check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Okay, so this one was like Christmas morning for me. Haywood drivers. So if you're new here, I have tested a Haywood club before. It was a Haywood driving iron. I'll link the video. Uh, it was great. It, uh, a lot of distance, a lot of workability and forgiveness. Now, Haywood is a direct-to-consumer golf brand based out of Vancouver in Canada. Uh, full disclaimer, I've paid for everything. I, I have no deals with them. I, I was... Lucky enough to pre-order their driver. It's been like a month and a half, two months. We're waiting for it. It finally came in. I had a little bit of a UPS issue getting it, but we got it. So I paid for this driver. So I've been following Haywood's driver development for quite some time. Um, as mentioned in my other review videos with Haywood, they are not claiming to beat the big dogs, Ping, TaylorMade, Callaway, Titleist, but they're going to compete and they're going to compete at a lower price point. So Canadian dollar value, if you're shopping around, a new driver from the big dogs is gonna set you back about 850 with a stock shaft. That is crazy. Haywood's 500, all in. So, I don't know, public school system bonus math, it's like two thirds of the price, maybe. Now this is their first crack at making any woods. They have a driver three wood hybrid. They went down to California, they hooked it up to robots, they did all the tests, and all the tests were good. And on paper, it checks every box that you want a driver to check. It's adjustable, it's forgiving, it's long, titanium and carbon construction, so it's ultra light, it has a high MOI. So looks wise, it sticks with the ethos that is the Haywood brand. It's very minimal, clean, classic. And this thing looks amazing. The easiest thing I can compare it to is a stealth without the red face, which is, to be honest, don't put a red face. It's got the two-toned body, your titanium front and face, and then the carbon crown that surrounds it. It comes with a branded grip if you want it, a premium leather branded head cover, a driver tool, everything that you want to set up your driver for your own fit. And they do have a wide array of custom shafts, so even the stock shaft selections, there's quite a few. If you want to upgrade, there's the opportunity to do that as well. So it only comes a stock nine degree and there's only one model. So my first knock is gonna be, maybe they should have named it, because when they come up with another Haywood driver, what's it gonna be called? Because this is just called Haywood Driver. Give it a sweet name, maybe we can name it. Now they're calling this a mid-launch low spin, which is pretty interesting. So they're not quite catering towards the high, high-end low spin drivers, and they're not catering towards the the high launch forgiveness drivers it's kind of fit right in the middle and try to capture most of the market so overall i've already hit this thing hundreds of times if you're wanting to know what it's like before having to watch this whole video it's good give it a shot now for me personally if you're close to me or if you played golf with me or watched any of my videos i've been saying for a while since this thing got announced it's gonna have a really hard job cracking my bag because I'm using a Maverick sub. I've had it off and on since it came out for four years. And specifically this season, I will say that off the tee, it's totally changed my whole game. I've, I've never been this confident off the tee with a driver. That Maverick sub is my favorite. So this Haywood is gonna have a tough job personally fitting into my bag but we're gonna see if it'll fit into your bag. So specs wise, obviously it's a different gen, but a Project X Black Hazardous 6.5 Extra Sift 70 gram shaft. I'm gonna have that in the sub. I'm gonna have that in the Haywood. It's 44.5, so I play my drivers one inch shorter. The thing I'm gonna notice, and the thing that's challenging for me is the head is quite a bit lighter. So I don't know if it's just the Sub-Zero, the low spin model that I'm used to, but that is quite a bit heavier than this Haywood. So I find myself having to really bear down on stability because it's a lighter head. Okay, so I'm trying to keep this as non-biased and as an even playing field as possible. 
There is a thing called uh, warm-up bias. So the driver or the club or whatever you're testing that you warm up with is gonna feel better compared to the other. So I tried to warm up with both. There's also the fatigue factor. So if I smart start, smart. If I start hitting one really well, I switch to the other one, I could be getting tired. So with all that considered, we're trying to see how this stacks up. Haywood first. Hey, not bad, a little pull. That was cracked. Get up there. Come on. Yep. Okay, so there's round one with the Haywood driver. I was gonna throw out some of the miss hits, but I guess that's a part of it, right? I'm warm, I'm swinging well. The miss hits are part of the game. So, numbers, average ball speed 161. That's right on average for me, rounded up to 162. Average total carry 277. Average total distance 291. Average spin 2800. Check, 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 check. That's right on, right on average for me. Um, some of them got out there. What was the second last one? So that's 165 ball speed, 287 carry, 302 total distance, 2800 RPM, and like six yards offline. So yeah, this thing, you can move it for sure, confirmed. So it's awesome to see that you know, the claims that they make and all the hard work and R&D and investment into launching a new product into an extremely competitive saturated market is a victory. So personally, I, I sent Haywood a DM the night I got the driver after I hit it a couple of times and just said, look, for whatever happens moving forward, congrats, because this is a huge feat. Um, it's really fun. Now, let's see how it stacks up to the sub. Okay, we're done, that was a ton of fun. I don't, the other thing I thought about doing is getting some more drivers here and adding some more things and doing some sort of a bracket, but after comparing these two, I can already predict what it's gonna be like across the board. It's gonna be on par. As cheesy as that is to say, to use a golf pun. Okay, so reviewing the numbers. So, ball speed, Haywood, 162, Maverick 163. Total carry, Haywood 277, Maverick 279. Total distance, 291, average, Maverick 296. Spin, 2800 for Haywood, 2735 for sub. Dispersion's a little tighter. So the misses were a little less on the Maverick. That's probably just because that thing is like my second child. So pretty crazy that uh, how close these are. So the good things that Haywood has going for it and that it does well, it does really well. The manufacturing seems to be spot on. Hopefully the durability is gonna last like all the other clubs do. The branding, the customization, the availability, the overall like, just like vibe is uh, high. Vibes are high. How are the vibes? They're high. Um, this is gonna get a little nitpicky, but there's three things that I don't like. I didn't know this, but I don't like not having an alignment aid. My Maverick has that little triangle, the Callaway signature. This doesn't, and it actually kind of bugs me. The first 
20 swings, I was hitting everything off the heel. I didn't know where the center of the club face was. I've been playing golf for 33 years and I need an alignment aid. So that's something that bugs me. Uh, the adjustability on the collar, sometimes it's hard to tell because there's like kind of nubbins and bumps and it's hard to tell where you line it up to get your, uh, your adjustability there. We just need to add a little bit of a white line that would line up with the, uh, the head of the club there. And the third thing that is a little off for me is gonna be the feel. The feel is totally different. And I, I love Callaway's drivers for that feel, the feedback between the center of the club face versus a heel versus a toe, I can tell right away. I can't tell with this one. And maybe that's the improvements with modern drivers because the Maverick is five years old. And like, let's be honest here, you can only change so much with the driver. The sweet spot is the sweet spot. You can only have a 1.5 smash factor. So what all manufacturers are trying to do is trying to improve that speed and forgiveness across the whole club face. And that could be very well what the Haywood is doing. I just have a hard time telling where I'm striking it. So if I don't hit one quite pure versus hitting one pure versus hitting one off the heel or toe or vice versa, it's hard to tell, which I guess is not a pro or a con performance wise because if it feels the same across the face then you can just open it up and smash it for me personally i like a little bit more feedback when i'm hitting the sweet spot okay. so overall i would say the haywood driver that needs a name is a huge win and a huge success and i think you're going to start seeing a ton of these in guys bags in and around the north american golf community now, in a perfect world, if I have a wish list, what would I like? I would like a smaller head. The one thing I didn't touch on is the Maverick sub. I like a smaller driver head. It's a 440cc versus a 460cc, which is what most standard drivers are. Doesn't seem like the biggest difference, but to my eye, I do like the look of a smaller driver. And then if we could get a, like a heavier lower spin option. So if they did like a 2.0 of this, call it you know, like the triple diamond or the Sub-Zero or the LS or something like that, that would be right up my alley. So I'll put links in the description for all of Haywood's stuff. Check them out, just shop around, configure a driver. It's, uh, it's really fun to do and it's really dope to see a local company just going for it and like you can't knock the hustle, so. Okay, thanks for watching. Thanks for the support on my channel. There'll be more reviews coming. Let me know. I might try Sub-70s stuff if there's any uh, other direct-to-consumer golf brands you want to see me try. Link in the description. It's golf season here, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do for my next videos or the frequency of videos. I might slow down a little bit because I'm addicted to golf and I wanna play every day. But I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching, much love, see ya. Fairway.